If you did a double take this morning uh, on the date, probably not alone, folks. It's Leap Day, February 29th. And here to explain exactly what that means by the numbers, NBC News mm -hmm. business and data correspondent Brian Chung. Good to have you as always, sir. So first of all, for folks who may not know, what, what is Leap Day? Like, why do we add this to the calendar every four years? Yeah, and unfortunately, there's a little bit of math involved here. Uh -oh. So we heard in the last hour, Neil deGrasse Tyson talk about how it takes us a little bit longer than 365 days to do a lap around the sun. It takes us precisely 365.24219 days to orbit the sun, which means every year we're shortchanging ourselves the amount of time we need. So here's the thing, right? Over time, four years, we need to add a day, February 29th, to the calendar. But if you're doing the math here, if you multiply it by four, it's not 24 hours. It's 23.26 hours, oh. which means every four years we're adding an extra 44 minutes that we don't need. Wait a minute. So here's the interesting bit. Three times every 400 years, we skip a leap day to reaccount for the 44 minutes extra that we added. Three times uh, three every times 400 every The next time that's going to happen is in 2100. 2100. Yeah. Al, do you remember the last time we I skipped? I do. It was really good. <laughs> that's right. A few hundred years ago. Uh -huh. yeah. It was fantastic. Can you explain that one more time? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, yes, let's do the math. Out. It checks out. It checks <laughs> out. Give some fun facts about Leap Day. <laughs> yeah, so 5 million. That's how many people are born on Leap Day. We celebrated a few of them earlier today. We'll get, we'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. <laughs> Craig, Craig loves it. So we love we love those. He's so happy I, that I he actually realize. said something funny. I did not think you guys were going to love the math. In fact, it happens so once every four years. <laughs> let's get back to let's get back to the numbers. One out of every about fifteen hundred people are born on leap day. Very rare. And there was, by the way, an honor society online for leap year babies. Oh, it had wow. a lot, about eleven thousand people. It was a website until they recognized. Ah, eh, with social media, we probably don't need it, so they shut down in twenty sixteen. <laughs> There's probably a Facebook group for that now. And lastly, leap year. It was a two thousand ten movie featuring Amy Adams. $26 million at the box office. Oh. It's a rom-com. Haven't seen it. Apparently I haven't very seen it funny. either. Yeah. It's cute. I will check it out. Now. I like that movie, actually. It's cute. All right, what do other people around the world do today? Yeah, so the, uh, the number I've got for you is three because okay. in Anthony, Texas, which straddles the New Mexico border, they have a big festival. They build themselves as the world capital of Leap Day. <laughs> I don't know why, but either way, they celebrate the 29th, mm -hmm. March 1, and March 2nd. Wow. Uh, also, some other things here. Fifth Century Ireland. The reason why I bring that up is because there was a tradition during the fifth century that that was the only day on leap day that women could propose to men, which, by the way, was the premise of the Leap Day movie, I think, with Amy Adams. She tries to bring yeah, her husband to Ireland. He, like, it won't propose. It's like a whole thing. Basically. Shenanigans yeah. ensue. Yeah. And then lastly here, uh, if we go to France, uh, La Bougie du Sapeur in French, Look right? It, a, a little bit of French there. A little bit of French there. French pretty bougie. It translates, <laughs> it translates to the Sapper's Candle. Uh, it's a magazine that comes out every four years oh, on the Leap Day. There it, there it is. And it has 200,000 copies. A publisher that publishes only four years. That sounds like a pretty good deal to me, yes, right? Yeah. yeah, they yeah. do. They have a lot a of time to yeah. So, Brian, any, any deals to be had on, on Leap Day? Yeah, so, I mean, if you're not into the math, you'll probably get into the deals that we have here. If there are any Dunk Kings out there, four times <laughs> the Dunkin' Reward points that you're going to get. I'm going to oh. try to dip into that a little later on today. But we've also got some other freebies. Uh, you oh. get a free Cinnabon pull apart at Wendy's today. You don't have to be born on Leap Day to take mm -hmm. advantage of that deal. Uh, for those that do have a birthday today, you're going to get 12 free Krispy Kreme glazed donuts. Uh, again, if you don't have a birthday, you can still get a 229, ready? ready? Feb yeah. 29. I get it. Five wings at 7-Eleven. And then lastly, you'll get a free insomnia cookie with a 6 or 12-pack purchase at insomnia. If it's your birthday, you get a birthday party and you get the six free oh. cookies. Oh, my gosh. Okay, birthday so party. the big number. Yep, the big number I've got for you is... 1461. Any guesses for that? 1,461. I feel like that number was over here at one point. Oh, that's the next number of days day. until the next the number leap. of days yeah. until the next leap day. All so right. I did a little... That wasn't good? Was that I good? Was okay. Good. I tried. I tried. Leap. You took a little leap. Okay. Was it was like a little leap. Leap. Right. leap. Thank, leap. thank you. <laughs> Love the kicks this oh, morning. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Our, our, our director, uh, uh, um, stage manager, stage, stage, stage manager Dave Auerbach, his son Simon made these, and they're very cool. Very cool. Awesome. Thank you, Brian. That was awesome. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.